all. Okay, you guys, so today we're going to be reading one of our mentor texts for the year. This mentor text is called Technology and Invention. And our main question is, where do ideas from the mentors even come from? So, last week, we read a couple stories, if you remember, about the windshield wiper and about Velcro and how they were invented. Oh! This week... We're moving on to something a little different. Let's take a peek. It is robots. So if you were to open up your mentor text to pages 12 and 13, these are the pictures that you would see. Good readers use the pictures and the title to make some guesses about the story. Yeah. So do you think this story is about going grocery shopping with your pet turtle? Probably not. No. These pictures don't have anything to do with turtles or pets or grocery shopping. So what do you think this story is mostly about? I'll let you pause the video and take some guesses. I know. I believe this story is mostly about... Remember, this is a guess, so it's not going to be the actual thing. Purifiers! Air purifiers, that's my guess. Oh, really? So that's a very interesting guess. I definitely think this story is going to be mostly about... It looks like... Like maybe kids that are in the hospital? Oh. Missing yeah. their friends back at school? Oh, they probably feel so sad. Lonely, left out. And the worst thing is, they're missing important learning work. Wait a second. That? I, I see a kid in that on that screen. Wait, wait, so do you think he is that? I think he is using the robot as to go to school. Interesting. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, anyway. Make some predictions using the title and the pictures, and that is going to help you as you're reading the story to make sense of what yeah. the author's trying to say. Speaking of the story, this is what your actual story looks like. We're going to read it for the first time today, and then we're going to talk a little bit about main idea. I'll start. Dear Principal Aped, our school needs robots so that students who can't actually come to school can still have a full school experience. Sometimes children get sick and they have to stay in the hospital for a long time. Others, others have conditions that make it impossible to attend school. These students deserve a school experience like everyone else. And robots are the answer. I'm on paragraph two. Using a computer at home or in a hospital, children can participate in class. On a screen, they can actually see their teacher. Kind of like you are doing now. Yeah. Yeah. And their classmates. The robot sends images and sounds from the classroom to the student's computer. Well, using a robot, a student can also answer questions in a class. Here's how it works. The robot has a video screen. The student's face shows up on that screen. To answer a question, the student presses a button. A <laughs> light flashes on the robot, and the teacher can then call on the student to answer. Kind of like in our Google Meets, how you can press that little yeah, raise hand button. Yep, raise hand button. That Robots button. can move around schools on wheels, and students can steer them from home. The robot goes to art or music class with everyone else. And robots would not be a distraction. Students get used to things very quickly. We need robots in school because they will provide a full school experience for all. Respectfully, Tomes Kingalore, or however you say that name. Very interesting. So this was our text this week. And um, this type of story is actually an opinion yeah, an opinion. Piece. What somebody thinks about something else. Yep. So what this um, boy Tomas did is he wrote a letter to the principal sharing his opinion. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the main idea of this piece. Yes. All right. So a couple tips. The first thing I do when someone asks me to use main idea is I look at the title and I try to figure out, can I... Robots, school, but yeah. Yeah. Believe it or not, the title will almost always tell you what it's mostly about. And that's probably the easiest to know this version of main idea. So definitely look at the title and look for keywords, right? You can yes. figure out whether or not the writer wants a certain thing or um, has a certain opinion. Yes. And then if I was really going to be doing this and someone gave me a paragraph and asked me to summarize it, what I would do is I wouldn't try to say everything. 
Yes. Sometimes kids say too much. You want it short and sweet. So what I usually tell the kids is to find four important words. Yes. Those so words. let's see. Our school, school needs, needs robots, robots, right? So kids that are sick. sick can still get the school experience. So four words can tell you what what the story's about. But here's a danger I should tell you. Freeze one second. I'm going to use those four words to put them together with some other words yeah. to tell you the main idea. So if it was me and someone asked, hey, what is this story mostly about? I would say it's mostly about robots coming to school to help sick kids experience friendships yeah. and learn. They'll still learn though. It's what it's mostly about. I didn't tell you everything about the light flashing or about the wheels rolling, but those details don't have to be included in the main idea. Yeah, but, what were you going to say? Well, here's a danger. If you're summarizing a story that an author wrote, try not to use the same sentences and words the author said. That is called plagiarism. Never do that when you're oh, summarizing. You're right. Plagiarism is if you copy everything the author says word for word. It's okay to borrow a couple of their words but or not ideas, all of them. but then use some of your own too. Yes. All right. So what I would like you guys in Seesaw to do for me is to find the main idea using emojis. Let's show them the emoji Check game. Check it out. Okay. All right. I'm going to give you an example. And then on your own, you're going to click into Seesaw and do a few more of these main idea prompts. So let's take a look. We got pancakes, cereal, bacon, waffles, and eggs. Main idea? Breakfast! Yeah. yeah. So what I would do is I would type or write breakfast by those emojis. The main idea of all of those emojis, breakfast foods, right? Yes. You're going to do the same thing for these other groups of emojis. There are a total of five that I have done. But then I've left you one Make blank. one all. Make your own. Make yeah. one of your own and then make me figure out what the main idea is. Make sure it's easy for Mr. W to figure yeah, out. Yeah, my old eyes, right? Make sure it's easy. If you could click on that green check and send it my way, we would I love can't to see wait it. to see your work. Thanks for watching. Thanks now. Crew W, out. Bye.